creating a manual ply feature. Start by selecting at least one boundary chain loop on the layup surface by selecting curves or edges. In this case, I will select a closed loop curve on the layup surface. The material is using the default selected material from the list, as well as the rosette using the default rosette. In this case, there is only one rosette, yet that is the default. Orientation angle by default is zero. And I can go into the ply setting tab and change it from here as well. When I accept the feature, a new ply object is added to the laminate list. And by the way, the laminate list can be collapsed to be inside the model tree. But if you create many plies and want to work with the laminate manager columns, it's easier to use the separate tree. And as you see, there is a default color assignment that you can change at any point. Creating a new manual ply feature, I can also select edges and curves that intersect and are on the layup surface to automatically build a closed loop on the fly. If I now change the material, you'll see that a different color gets assigned and we have two plies created. I can also use multiple loops. Let's pick the full available loop and add an additional loop like this, or maybe also add selecting from list the ply boundary loop of the previous ply. However, this will obviously make this last ply a child of the previous ply. So, in this case, we have two inner loops in this newly created ply. Thank you.